Ma'am, with all due respect, and I really mean this, what happened? You got your kicked. Hayden went on to say he was just kidding. It must was intense honoring those who fought for our freedom this morning. He and Second Lady Karen Pence claimed the Vietnam veteran. Veterans Day. Thank you to all the veterans who served this country and uh, created freedom here. And here's a great quote from Lincoln about this. I just walked into the airport, well, toward the airport, and I found this. So, once again, thank you. Oh man, it's all of our family, friends that served. It's crazy. Mm. of my father and myself and for all of the World War II veterans here in Washington, D.C., those that are here and those that are not here, we thank all of you, we love you, we honor you, and you are the reason for why our country is here, what it is today, and God bless you and everyone, and it's a pleasure to be here. The price of freedom is not free. So fitting that they chose to place the World War II Memorial between the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, two presidents that, uh, the early, you know, two of the earliest presidents that wanted to protect freedom, not just in, you know, our country, but in the world. And, um, you know, so they chose, they put this World War II Memorial just right in the perfect place here in DC. I was not expecting to uh, film this today. I, it, frankly, I, and this is sad, but forgot that it was Veterans Day until, I guess, yesterday. So anyway, let's not forget our veterans. Whew, what a special place. Yeah, I flew for the Navy in World War II from an aircraft carrier. We're waiting for our home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're both <laughs> Did you ever think you'd hear a uh, World War II veteran say, I'm, I'm waiting for my Uber? <laughs> he had a great, he was great. Jeff and Jerry. One last thought on World War II. My grandfather served in World War II, my mom's dad, Leonard Warren, and uh, he survived. He made it back home, uh, thankfully, but uh, boy, he was captured twice and escaped twice by the Nazis. Uh, mostly, in, he served mostly in Italy. In the oh, and here's my here's my ride. But anyway, okay, here he comes. Yeah, times have changed. <laughs> but this is one of the 
only two airports that the federal government still controls. Oh, okay. This one and those. Yep. Yes, I will. I, I enjoyed my time here. That Uber driver was a, uh, a veteran as well. He served in the Korean War. Thank you for your service, sir. Man.